Welcome to the new vision, a program geared towards preparing every working man and woman to lift the bar through quality customer service. Service will define our focus and the kind we deliver will determine our hereafter when the current annoying crisis is over. Take care of your customers, for if you don't, someone else will. If you're really interested in wowing your customers, always be upfront and honest. Honesty is still the best policy around. When we are upfront and honest with a customer, in every situation, your reputation will be firmly established. A good business reputation is something that money cannot buy and is quite priceless when you think of the ramifications of the alternative. If your business makes it a habit to always have honesty and integrity in all of their dealings, customers will sit up and take notice. Honesty is devoid in many places today, and the idea of making a quick buck has taken the place of it. We really don't have that in stock right now, but if you would like, I can offer a replacement for you. Or how about this? That sandwich has been sitting in the tray there for about an hour. Can I make you a fresh one? The customer will be shocked, probably to the point they might even be speechless. Give them that honesty and integrity every time, and your business will grow by reputation. The more people can trust you personally and trust that your company will be forthright and honest with them, the more they will continue to patronize your establishment. Never ever lie to a customer under any circumstance. If something isn't so, say so. If it is, then say it is. Wouldn't it be refreshing to get back to the days where a man's handshake was as good as his word? The concept is old-fashioned, you say. Maybe so, but it still works. And while you're at it, do you want to have a successful business at all? Then you must take the time and make the effort with your service. A little time and effort into giving good customer service will be invaluable to any business. It's one thing to have the inventory, a plan of action, a mission statement, a good location, enough employees, etc. But if you don't take the time and make the effort to provide this cut above customer service, I am afraid it will be all for naught. Customers need to shop for goods. That is a given. However, they do not. And I repeat, do not have to shop with your business. They have alternatives, some may be even more glamorous, cheaper perhaps, and maybe in a more desirable location. The trick to make those customers feel like they're special, be extremely hospitable from the time they walk through the doors until the time they leave. Do this even if they decide not to purchase anything. Your actions, body language, sincerity and hospitality all carry intrinsically more weight than you can possibly imagine. Customer service is given, but genuine hospitality is felt. Make that customer feel like they are important to you and that you undoubtedly and without question value their business. A personal greeting when they come through the door and a thank you in acknowledgement of them stopping by when they leave are always in good taste and good business. I will make an analogy for you to ponder. Would you rather dine in a fine dining establishment with fancy silverware and bow-tied waiters and receive poor customer service and average food? Or would you rather dine in a totally average restaurant with decent food that gave excellent customer service and made you feel welcome? The latter, I would say, any time. In fact, that would be like a four-star giving five-star service and the five-star giving no-star service. I will trade all the fancy and lousy service for average and great service anytime. Well, folks, that is really what it's all about. You know it, I know it, and more importantly, your customers know it. Put these ideas into motion. Have your people buy into it. Take the time and make the effort to give cut above customer service. I would be willing to bet that you will see an increase in not only more loyal customers, but referred customers as well. Business by reputation is a valuable thing, but it does take work. It takes cut above customer service. Remember, customer service is given, but genuine hospitality is felt. 
You've just been part of the new vision, a quality customer service focused program established to help lift the standard and quality of service we provide to our customers. The way to gain a good reputation in the service industry is to be what you desire to appear. Join me tomorrow, God willing, right here for more.